It is generally believed that the impact of an earthquake decreases as one moves away from the earthquake epicenter. While it seems to be logical, experts claim otherwise. Proof is the severe damages in Mexico City during the earthquake of 1985, while the epicenter was located 350 kilometers away. What is more, the devastating Nepal and Hind Kush earthquakes, which despite being located very far, shook many parts of India. While the present technology cannot make a 100% accurate prediction of an earthquake, but the resulting damage due to them can be minimized by taking proper measures. Seismic microzonation is one such crucial measure which tries to understand the impact of an earthquake on a certain habitat and mitigate the effects. In this context, the Union Minister for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Dr. Harshvardhan, recently released the seismic microzonation reports for Delhi and Kolkata in New Delhi. Previously, the Bureau of Indian Standards has created the seismic zoning map for entire India and has classified the entire country into four major groups, that is, Zone 5 referring to high intensity to Zone 2 referring to low intensity. Furthering this, the seismic microzonation of Delhi has been conducted by the National Center for Seismology and Kolkata has been undertaken by Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, in consortium with a few other organizations in Kolkata under the aegis of the Geosciences Division, Ministry of Earth Sciences. The entire uh, NCD has been divided, has been, uh, you know, divided into several microzones and now we have divided using all this uh, um, studies, we have put them in three uh, major categories, low hazard, medium hazard and high hazard. High hazard is, is, is a region which is where you expect more damage because of an earthquake in Himalaya or Hindukush, whatever. But uh, the low hazard is the rocky area where, where you don't expect much damage because of these uh, distant earthquakes. High hazard region is generally close to Yamuna area, so which is more towards north. While the national capital territory Delhi is located in seismic zone 4 of the macro seismic zoning map, Kolkata was placed at the border of seismic zone 3 and 4. Once you have a new seismic coefficient, you have to decide what kind of building material you will be using and what kind of building you can... Suppose you have a predominant frequency of 1 hertz, then you can go up to, up to 10 storey building. If the predominant frequency is 0.1, then you can go to 100, 100 story building. But they are having skyscrapers, they are having, uh, I mean, you, you have seen in the newspapers and all, and we have all sorts of fashionable buildings coming up, atmosphere, cloud, these, that. And all of them have got the structures which cannot be sustained by the Kolkata soil. So therefore, it is very hazardous, we have to be very careful. The report will be immensely useful in more accurate assessment of seismic hazards along with development of earthquake safe structures, appropriate land use and implementing safe building construction codes to minimize loss to lives and properties.